Hello and welcome everyone to DCC and ITA YouTube channel. So now we are going to solve the problem B, not dividing of code forces around 856. And uh, so in this problem statement, we are given an array of size n and uh, we can add one to any element of the array in one operation. Okay. So now, now how many operations we can do? We can do at most two n operations. This is the condition that is given over here. And we need to make sure for each index from i to i equal to 1 to n n, n minus 1 this ai it should not be dividing this a, ai plus 1 so every previous element should not be dividing the element next to it okay we need to make sure that so also here the condition is given that we can do at most one operation so let's try uh, out you know with sample test cases like uh, how many operations are required if we just uh, do uh, if we make to hold this condition true so if an array is like complete ones then we know that one can one will be dividing every element whatever be the element over here like if there is a x one will definitely divide this x so uh, so we need to you know increment this one we need to replace all this one by two and uh, if all of the elements are ones then it will require big O of n minus one operations or big O of their n minus operations to make all n minus ones to one equal to uh, plus one equal, that will be two this all will be converted to two 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 one now this uh, new array is valid but if there is any element other than one now this, this array was you know now now no now not also complete yet why this two is still dividing this two this two is still dividing this two so what we can do we can increment this number we will just start a loop and we will check like is this element is this dividing its next element uh, yes we can see that yes it is dividing so we will increment this number ai plus one so it will be two three now is this dividing this three dividing this two no so it will, it will remain at the, as it is. Is this two dividing this one? No. Now this is valid. Okay. Now if we look for the next test case, if it is a 2, 4, 10. If this is the sample test case. Now if I, you know, in the, I can see like this 2, it is dividing this 4. So I will increment this. Now this will be 5. Now this 5 is dividing this. Yes, it is again dividing. Then I will increment it. So what I can observe over here is like if any element is dividing its next element, I will just increment it by one and it will, you know, satisfy the condition and for uh, every element is requiring one operation. So if I do this for all the elements, for all the n elements, it will require n operations at most. So also we can perform at most two n, uh, two n operations as per the question. So what do we require to, you know, uh, uh, make sure in this question like if there is any ones we have to increment it we have to convert it to two because one can divide any element so first of all we have to check for uh, all ones we, uh, we have to increment it to two then we just uh, go we just run a loop and uh, if there is any element who is dividing its next element so we will increment the next element by one and then um, you know the array will be in a state like it will satisfy this condition so that's all i hope for uh, this uh, approach and uh, this uh, edge case of one is clear to you so if there is any problem you can comment uh, or and also the uh, solution code is provided in the description part thank you